Have you ever noticed how most of the old money brands people talk about were founded in Europe? Now, on the surface, that makes sense. You've got countries on that continent that have been around for a long time. But the reality is there are tons of old money brands that were founded outside of Europe. In fact, some of these countries like Australia, their people founded these companies out of necessity. Seriously, anyone living down under can tell you that it takes forever to get packages. And that's with modern air and sea transportation. Go back a hundred years, it was worse. So, what's a guy to do? Well, in 1932, an entrepreneurial gentleman named Reginald Murray founded a company in Australia that was focused initially on footwear. He wanted shoes that were durable, he wanted shoes that were stylish, and he wanted to leverage the natural materials that he had at his disposal there in Australia. I mean, it just made sense. They had their own leather, they had their own craftsmen. Let's start making the stuff right here locally. Now, the company he founded over 90 years ago is still known for their boots. Now, of course, they also make great belts, great shirts, and they've expanded into all different types of menswear. Now, Reginald's full name was Reginald Murray Wolf. Williams. And to name the company, he just took his first two initials, RM, and then put it on his last name, RM Williams. And to this day, the RM Williams company still bears his name. In today's video, gents, we're talking about affordable old money brands from around the world. Now, staying down under, let's check out Anthony Squires. Established in 1948, Anthony Squires specializes in finer menswear. We're talking suits, trousers, we're talking nice shirts. Now, you may be wondering how in the world are they actually getting the fabrics? Because aren't those made in Italy? Aren't those going to be made over in the UK? You're right. They actually do bring the fabrics over, but what's nice about this is they can actually manufacture them there in Australia. Now, of course, nowadays they're importing a lot of things and you'll see that with their silk ties, but their attention to detail is still solid. Now, in today's video, I'm going to define old money brands as brands that are elegant, brands that are timeless, brands that are functional. And to be straight up, you don't need to wear clothing from a brand that's been around for over a hundred years to have that elegant old money type of look. But as an individual, I do think there are some characteristics that help. One of those characteristics is eating a healthy diet. And that's why I'm proud to bring you today's sponsor, Factor. Gents, if you're not familiar with Factor, this company makes it easy to meet your daily nutrition goals. They do this by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your door. They've got a whole team of gourmet chefs that make these meals using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Now, gents, straight up, me and my family absolutely love these meals. Every time we get a package, my kids get excited and the meals go fast. They are good, they are healthy, and as a busy dad, I appreciate how Factor makes it easy to feed my family. Because let's face it, gents, cooking takes a lot of time, from the prep work to the cooking to the cleanup afterwards. Let's not even get into all the shopping you got to do. Gents, what I love about Factor is in two minutes, you can heat up this meal and boom, you've got something that tastes delicious, something that is nutritional, something that's going to meet your needs to be able to keep your body in shape and looking good. And gents, let's talk about options. So, for me, I'm trying to spend a little bit more time in the gym. So, getting those protein plus meals, and these are going to have 30 plus grams of protein. This is what I'm looking for. But what if you're trying to lose weight, but you don't want to starve yourself? Check out their calorie smart meals. And gents, if you're eating on the go, you don't have the ability to heat up the meal. They've also got meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat, no microwave or required. No mess, no prep, healthy and ready in two minutes. And the best part, gents, you can save 50% on your first box. Go to factor75.com and use the code RMRS50. And gents, when you're grabbing that first box, make sure to grab some of the smoothies, the cold pressed juices, absolutely delicious, highly recommended. Use the link in the description of today's video to make sure you get that great deal, save 50%, awesome company, great meals. Check them out, guys. Highly, highly recommended. Now, what if you want something a little bit more modern, something that actually is a relatively new company founded in 2009, MJ Bale. Now, as I was over on their website, one of the things I really liked is their look on linen shirts. And linen shirts are classic. And another thing, if you're down in Australia, you know that the seasons are opposite. So, if it's winter time, but you want to start picking up some summer wear, that's what's nice about shopping in Australia is that you can actually get the next season. You know, I don't know if they're behind a season or ahead. I'll pretend they're ahead. Point being is go over on their website. Yes, they've got great looking suits. They've got some really nice sweaters. And they've even got some sharp looking trench coats over there. And let's not forget politics. Found in Australia in 1975. These guys started off as a boutique leather jacket maker. Now, they've really gone into the fashion side and I'm not going to say I love everything over on their website, but I do like seeing, you know, a brand that was founded in Australia. If you are Australian, if you've got Australian heritage or you just simply enjoy, you know, the culture in that country, 
check them out. Oh, and I almost forgot the Kiwis. Guys, let's jump over to New Zealand and let's look at Rod and Gun, founded in 1946. Now, if you know anything about New Zealand, you know that these people have a lot of sheep in that country. So, this is reflected and it makes a lot of sense. They're going to be having some great wool sweaters over at Rod and Gun. That being said, they're also known for their dress shirts and their polo shirts. They use a really nice cotton. Their leather jackets are also well received and reviewed and I do like how they stick with a lot of classic styles. So, even their sports jackets, their trousers, everything over on that website. Actually, it really suits my style. The more I learn about this company, the more I love what they're doing. I mean, seriously, have you seen this shearling leather jacket? That thing, man, it is just, that's a beast. You remember the bad guy from the Dark Knight? His, I know, was different, but uh, you know, this one, it looks good. It's a good looking jacket. Now, at this point, I know some of you guys are saying, Antonio, I thought we were going to be keeping things affordable, you know, over a thousand dollars for a jacket. But here's the thing. If you find something that is timeless, that you're going to be able to wear hundreds and hundreds of times for the next two or three decades, that is well worth it. Save up. It's better to buy quality and cry once about the price than to buy something that is cheap. Yeah, you save some money on it. You got it 80% off or 80% off the cost of something you really wanted, but you only wear it a few times and you never feel great in it. Guys, save up, get what you want and pay for quality, but just don't overpay for a brand. Oh, and really quick, I want to give a shout out to all the guys that commented on one of my other old money videos and gave me the ideas for a lot of these brands. Guys, I read the comments. I appreciate you and I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of love. So, if you got a great comment, make sure to leave it because who knows, you may pop up in another video. And if you're enjoying this video, you like these type of videos, do me a favor and smash the like button because it lets the YouTube gods know that, hey, this video is worth watching. All right, so leave it Australia, but sticking on this side of the world, let's head up north to Japan. Now, this next brand was established in 1980 and what I really like about them is they didn't try to put an ostentatious logo right in your face. They keep it really muted, really just understated and they have good quality for what you pay for. That company, the brand I'm talking about is Muji. Minimalist design and like I said, no logos. What I love about Muji, if you go over to their website, you're going to have some great t-shirts, if you're looking for a linen blended shirt and if you want a wool blended cardigan, these guys got you covered. And if you've never bought clothing from Japan, understand that the sizing is going to be a little bit smaller. That being said, if you are a smaller guy, this is going to be awesome. If you ever get the chance to go shopping in Japan, highly recommended. Things aren't necessarily cheap, but there is such a great selection and you do save on paying taxes, so uh, it could work out for you. This next Japanese brand has been around since 1946. Now, they've got their hands in tons of other things, electronics and stuff, but watches are what we're going to talk about today and what they're most known for in the men's style industry. So, first up, let's talk about their Edifice series. Now, no one is going to confuse this with a dress watch. That being said, it is a nice looking watch and for what it is, yes, with all the complications, everything on this, this is a functional watch and from a brand that has been around for well over, you know, 70 years and continues to produce amazing watches. And let's talk about price point. For 15 bucks, if you want a watch that you can just put on with a simple casual outfit and has a super strong retro feel to it, grab the classic F91W. Elegant? I think so. Timeless? Yeah. And it is functional. Right there, you've got the time. Very accurate. You've got the date. You have even a light and an alarm. But I saved the best for last, the watch that put them on the map and why they're in this category because if you are a man and many men are sportsmen and they really want the best sports watch, is the most durable sports watch on the market, then you need to check out the G-Shock. And of course, the brand we're talking about is Casio. The Casio G-Shock, this is the sportsman watch. Yes, all these other watches may claim that they went to the moon, they go underwater, all this other stuff, but here's the thing is the G-Shock just gets the job done and you could have, you know, 100 G-Shocks for the cost of a single Rolex and uh, a G-Shock is going to do a better job and you're not going to be worried about breaking it or getting it stolen or losing it. Well, maybe because there are some G-Shocks that cost hundreds of dollars and there's rare ones. Point being though, there's a whole category of G-Shocks. They're fun, they're tough, they're functional and in my opinion, they are timeless. For our next brand, let's head over to Canada. 1985, this company was founded and was acquired actually in 1999 by Ralph Lauren. That being said, even since the acquisition, it's done a pretty good job of maintaining its high quality standards and its sleek styles. And that's what I like about this brand. They've got the classic styles, but they still add a little bit of a modern element to it. And their cuts and fits are usually on point. If you're looking for a chambray shirt, 
check them out. If you're looking for a jumper, if you're looking for a cashmere sweater, if you're looking for a more modern, edgy combination with a sports jacket and hoodie, then check them out. And I'm talking about Club Monaco. They've also got a solid collection of knit shirts, but in general, the colors that you see here are going to be mostly muted. They're going to be easy to mix, match, and if you're looking for foundational pieces to a classic man's wardrobe, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better deal than what you're going to find at Club Monaco. Now, speaking of Ralph Lauren, I talked about these guys in another video. Founded in 1967, this is one of the United States, I would say, old money brand that has just, we for some reason, think they've been around a long time, but they've only been around, what is that, 67? That's going to be 33, 50 years, but it seems like they have been around forever. That being said, this company does a lot of things right, especially in their polo line. So, in case you didn't know, with a lot of these larger brands, I talked about it with Brooks Brothers, which I read the comment, the fleece line, uh, the red fleece line, yes, I know has been discontinued, but you can still find it, at, you know, if you look around on eBay and some other, you know, you'll see it pop up. Point being is the polo line is going to be for the younger generation. Therefore, they've priced it a little bit lower, but you're still getting actually good quality. Now, what you need to be careful of with the polo line are these huge logos. And Ralph Lauren's Oxford shirts. Again, this is going to be a great staple in a classic man's wardrobe. They never go out of style. They've been around for what, like 70 years? They're going to be around for another 70. This next old money brand isn't even 40 years old. Founded in 1985, the idea and the vision for this brand was to redefine American cool, to be able to bring it into the clothing and to capture the masses' hearts by putting out pieces that were, you know, embodied by rock stars at the same time, were approachable and were just classic in their design. And with their red, white, and blue logo that actually isn't too much in your face, these guys definitely are 100% American. Who am I talking about? Gentlemen, Tommy Hilfiger. Now, some of you guys can argue that their quality has gone down in the last 20 years. I'm not going to, you know, I think if you go in there and you know what you're looking for, you can still find some great deals, especially when they do have sales. But if you're looking at polos, if you're looking at the basics, we're talking underwear, undershirts, if you're just looking for a good pair of chinos. And their sweatshirts are always classic. Again, try to avoid the big logo, but I do like the overall look and the brand has actually been having a resurgence. So, go in there, check them out. If it's been a while, a lot of people associate them with the 1990s. I think that they're making the, yeah, they're making a comeback and uh, they like look pretty good. Now, this next old money brand was founded in 1963 out of Chicago by a gentleman named Gary Comer. The company was originally a yachting supply company and they did happen to make some clothing, but over the years they realized, hey, our clothing is selling a lot better and it's a much bigger market. So, let's move over there. That being said, they've always paid attention to the quality of the materials of the fabrics and the build. And to this day, they've got some great items that if you're looking to be able to go out, you're going to be on a boat or you're just simply going to be walking the streets of Los Angeles when it's windy with the rain you guys have been getting. Or again, you just simply want something that's quality made, look no further than Land's End. Now, the clothing to check out at the Land's End are going to be their jackets. In particular, the Squall jacket. This one has been around for a long time and they're very famous for it. But if you just want to pick up a pair of chino shorts, a pair of jeans, or a polo shirt, you're going to find that Land's End has good quality here. Now, the fit, I think, can be a little bit large. You got to look around, but hey, if you find that the fit works for you and you know, you're just, you're impressed with the overall style, it's nothing fancy. It's going to be very simple, very plain, but if it works for your body type and you really like the build of their jackets, then that's where I would start with. But uh, overall, good company good materials and uh, I don't know if you got any input. I don't own a whole lot of their clothing, but I'd love to hear from you guys with any of the brands I'm talking about in today's video. Down in the comments, let me know what you think about the build, the fit, especially nowadays because again, some of these companies I've just bought clothing from years ago or I checked out four to five years ago and who knows how things have gone in terms of quality build. So, the next company was founded in 1850 in Newark, New Jersey. And I know some of you guys in New York are like, nothing can come out in New Jersey. No, you are wrong. Guys, the company I'm talking about here started off as a simple shoe company and now has grown into, I think, one of the best options if you're looking for affordable, classic menswear. And you happen to be in an airport, I think they had some of the best stores right in airports around the United States. Who am I talking about? Johnson and Murphy. 
Now, to this day, Johnson & Murphy is still known for their shoes. And I think they've done a really good job, not just with the classic shoes, but actually bringing in a mix of that classic looking shoe mixed in with the sneaker. That being said, in recent years, they've done a good job expanding into other pieces of men's clothing. In fact, in my wardrobe, I've got a number of pieces because they just find they're classic, they're functional, they get the job done and I'm spending my own money here. So, this stuff is affordable and I like that. Seriously, if you're looking for some good jackets, don't sleep on Johnson and Murphy. I go in there. I'm always amazed at great jackets I can find. Now, the fit, I think, could it leaves a little bit to be desired. So, you got to make sure that it actually fits your body type. That being said, you can get things adjusted, especially sports jacket, suit jackets, but their shoes are still where it's at. And of course, anyone that makes good shoes oftentimes makes good accessories. So, belts and other things like that to do a good job with as well. Now, let's head over to Germany. And the company we're about to talk about was founded almost 100 years ago in 1924. Now, the first 20 to 30 years, they've got a little bit of an interesting history. If you want to go do a little bit of research on them, let's just say fascism in Europe. But by the 1950s, the 1960s, they were retooling themselves and they really started getting into the growing European fashion market. They wanted something that was homegrown, something that was affordable, still something that had that German aesthetic. So, in the 1980s, they made a splash. All of a sudden, everyone's talking about them. Guys, I'm talking about Hugo Boss. Now, the classic items from Hugo Boss are going to be those crisp dress shirts are going to be the tailored suits. And they've also got a good collection of fragrances. That being said, Hugo Boss is on this list because they do maintain the timeless elegance. Sometimes they fall into fashion trends, but overall, you can go in here and you can look and dress well at an affordable price. Now, this next brand, some of you guys may not consider an old money brand, but they're one of the oldest on this list. And when you look at the quality of the craftsmanship that goes into some of their garments, yeah, I, I just felt that they had to be included. Founded in Oregon in 1863, this this company has continued to focus in on woolen clothing. For many in the fashion note, they embody the American West. The company I'm talking about is Pendleton. So, first up, their wool shirts. These shirts have been worn by cowboys. They've been worn by Hollywood stars. They've been worn by people in the East Coast that just simply want a different look. They definitely have a unique style, but that's what everyone loves about them and the fact that they are incredibly functional. These woolen shirts are going to keep you warm. They're going to be able to deal with the drizzle. They are going to be able to, yeah, they're just incredibly functional and a classic piece that when you buy it, it's going to last you a lifetime. And let's talk about board shorts. They didn't come up with the idea for board shorts but they sure perfected it, especially when surfers in the 1960s out in California started finding these things and absolutely loving them. All of a sudden, they're on, you know, they're in magazines, they're popping up and everyone's wondering, where did they get those Pendleton board shorts? Today, they're also known for their merino sweaters and their classic fit trousers. And again, it's debatable whether or not this brand is affordable, but I think for what you get for the quality, yeah, uh, Pendleton is a unique brand that you definitely, if you've never heard of them, you want to go check them out. For our next affordable old money brand, let's go over to Italy. Now, Italy actually has a lot of affordable brands. I'm just not familiar with them all. So, again, if you've got some great ideas, Spanish brands, you've got South American brands, you've got Indian brands, you've got Chinese brands, let me know in the comments below. I'm reading through and I'll make another one of these videos. I'll go off and do the research. But getting back to what I love about Pini Parma, guys, you introduced me to this brand, so thank you. The style here is immaculate. These dudes are looking sharp. And again, it's just the classic cuts, the classic colors, the prices. I wouldn't say that they're definitely not cheap, but they are affordable because if you buy one of these classic sports jackets, you grab one of these ribbed sweaters, you look at the trousers, everything in here, these are classic pieces that you'll be able to wear for 10 to 20 years. I talked about the Lindy effect before and this says that basically, if something's been around for 20 years, it's probably going to be around for another 20. Well, a lot of these classic pieces in menswear that they've got on their website, just like these jackets, these coats, they've been around for 70 years, 100 years in menswear. So, guess what? You invest in one of these pieces, especially you nail the fit, the colors work for your skin tone, all of a sudden, you're going to have a jacket that you're going to be able to easily pull off for the next 20 to 30 years. Now, a couple items I would recommend, if you don't have a pair of suede tassel loafers and you already got maybe five pairs of dress shoes, check them out. This right here is just a really elegant look, perfect for the summer. They've also got some really stylish jacket. And again, if you live in an area in which it gets cold, having a great looking jacket can really just transform the entire look. You may not think much about it, but going in and out of work, just walking around the city in this jacket, it just transforms the entire look, especially if you go with a solid, maybe even a bold color. Yeah. Let's head up north to one of the older companies on this list. Founded in 1898 in London, we've got TM Lewin. 
Nowadays, TM Lewin sells a variety of different menswear pieces. You can find ties, you can find jackets, you can find all types of sweaters over there, but it's going to be their dress shirts in particular that they are known for initially, their cotton dress shirts, but recently they're non-iron, their shirts that are great for travel. So, that's going to be what they're known for nowadays. Now, if you're reading the forums, you're going to see that TM Lewin's quality has slipped in the last 50 years. They're not the manufacturer they used to be. That being said, they've really shifted as a company to be able to provide the masses, you know, for what you get, for what you pay for. It's actually a decent shirt. Again, but you need to know what you're looking for. And that's with this old money trend that's going on right now. You want to go for timeless. You want to go to classic. That's why I've got so many other videos here on the channel that talk about this. But when you go over to the website, you'll be able to find something good. That being said, if you really want to understand the old money aesthetic. If you want to understand how to be able to take any clothing and see if it fits into this category, guys, I got you covered in this video right here where I explain how to build an old money wardrobe. Simple, clean, easy to understand. I put this video together for you. I hope you enjoy it. Boom, check it out. It's a good one.